everyone! Welcome to Kai's Den. I'm Kai, and today I'm watching Ruby, Volume 9, Episode 4, and I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm not. But before we get started, if you're returning, hi! Thank you so much for coming back and supporting me. I really appreciate it. But if you're new, what's up? Tell me how you're doing in the comments. I hope you consider joining the den, okay? Subscribe. Subscribe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You should. You should. Because we're cool here, okay? We like to watch anime and play video games up in here. That's what we do. Because it's comfy. Um, as you can see, I'm sitting in this video. I'm way more comfy in this video. I got my favorite hoodie. Okay, it's Link inspired. Like it, like it. It's even got the cool little saggy hood. <laughs> uh, I have my Lucario because he is my comfort plush. And I have my favorite little blankie. Blankie? Blanket? <laughs> it's Kakashi. Yeah. I've heard from Twitter that this episode is pain. <sighs> the world shall know pain. insert flashback <laughs> but um so like I did in my previous videos I'm gonna talk about episode three um I've got some notes written down here in front of me just so I kind of remember what I wanted to talk about uh as always you know thank you guys so much for watching please consider subscribing if you haven't already make sure you like the video it really helps me out uh, yeah, let's uh, let's just hop in. Oh, before I forget, because I think I forgot to mention this last video too. Um, I have a Discord. It is linked. Join the Discord. Come hang out. We need more friends there. There's a few of us there, but we need more. Also, Twitch. Um, if you want to talk to me live, uh, I do stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, 5 to 7 p.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time, by the way. So, go there. I use my VTuber model. You might have seen her around. She's a kitsune. She's awesome. <laughs> so, yeah. Go click on all the links. Just go click on all of them and do all the things. But yeah, anyway. Last episode. We met the prince. If you've seen my reaction, you know I don't really like him. <laughs> Especially because, hmm, right here. Big, big letters. Penny's sword. He decided he didn't want it because it was green. Stupid idiot. Even though his sky is green. You don't like your sky either, bro? Get out of here. But yeah, so he kicked it off. Um, I'm assuming at some point, either Ruby and the team go back to get it. Or somebody else gets it. Or there's multiple. Because as we know, Penny made what? Was it eight? Or was it six? How many did she make? I can't remember, but she made a lot, okay? So they're probably all scattered, which is gonna suck because that means every time we come across one, it's gonna be like a reminder <laughs> of Penny. <laughs> Yay, because, you know, every time I get a reminder of Penny, I break down. Oh, <sighs> um, the prince is a prince and not a king. Thought he was a king. But apparently the king is gone? Missing? I've seen lots of different theories as to what could have happened to the king. One that I find amusing is that the king was Ozpin. And the reason he's missing is because Ozpin decided, Oh, I don't want to be king here anymore. I'm gonna go to the real world. Be king there or something, you know? <laughs> Very interesting. Um, also, the theory that the king had the crown. I've seen that one floating about, and that's why he's missing, is maybe because somebody was trying to take his crown. So he's like, oh, gotta go, gotta go. There's a lot. There's a lot. Yeah, there's a lot going on here. Um, the game itself that they played, the little prince, little cheating ass. Sorry, language. I try, but like, eh, I'm gonna let a couple slip, okay? 
Um, <laughs> I loved the game. Uh, the fight. Love that fight. I've been thinking about it all the time. That, like, that fight was just so good. The team attack? K, Yang, Wet, Girl, and Weiss? I see you, Weiss. I see you. You've been working on them summons, huh? You, without telling nobody, huh? You've been working on them. Because when she is in the air with the Nevermore wings, and I'm like, oh my god, she's literally an angel. Okay, Snow Angel? Yeah. Ah, I love Weiss. I love her so much. <laughs> she's, she's my favorite, in case none of you know. You know, this is why I stand in my videos, because my chair is kind of creaky. It's going to drive me crazy. But I feel like I'm going to break down this episode, so I don't want to be standing. I would like to sit. Um, and then we met the cat. The curious cat. Love him so much. I love that he's he's a cat. Like, and he's like a cat. He acts like a cat. Not like, oh, I'm a cat, but like... I don't do cat stuff. No, he does cat stuff, okay? Playing with the prince's tears, uh, distracted by a butterfly, you know? Yeah, he does all the kitty things, and I love it. Absolutely love it. Uh, something he said about that, uh, what was it? Times change, and so do we when it's our time to change. Don't you? I like that. I feel like that's important. I feel like it's very important. Because, I don't know, just the way it was emphasized. And then they transitioned to a, a whole new little area. Well, not new area, but... <sighs> yeah. This volume is going to be all about change, man. All about change. Still no Jean, but something tells me that our boy is showing up soon. Like, this episode or next episode, I swear. Like, please, I need to know what's happening with my boy, okay? I'm worried that it's almost the halfway point and there's still no Sean. Please, please. I love him. Like, he's really grown on me, okay? Where is he? I need him. I don't think I've ever mentioned, but, like, I would absolutely love a hug from Jean or Yang. Both of them. They both just give off like best hug vibes and I need it. And Jean's like tall as hell. So yeah, I would love a hug from Jean. <laughs> uh, I, I, I like him. I like him. I like him. <laughs> anyway, uh, where was I? The change, Rubes. Freaking love that Yang called Ruby Rubes. I, it, D -d -d Rubes, Ruby Doo, yeah, I love it. I yeah. Um. Anyway, and then the last thing, Neo, showing up. So, I don't know if this is her just now arriving in the Ever After, or if this is like. Well, no. I'm going to say it's her just now arriving because I was gonna say maybe this is like something that happened before. But the Jabberwocker was like running away so i'm assuming that was him running from team ruby into the that shot if i decide to put it up i will but the shot where it shows the jungle area in this darker area what you doing ruby hmm what are you doing got a light and got a darkness huh the brothers like hello you don't just you don't just use that same shade of purple and yellow, white, whatever. You don't use the same, come on now. What y'all got? What? Are you guys foreshadowing again? Because you do that a lot. You do it a lot. You do it a lot. I just, pretty sure everybody else got the same vibe. Like, oh, those two colors, the gods, hmm. Hmm, crazy how Team Ruby fell into the God of Light side and Neo fell over into the, the God of Darkness side. And then her semblance is over 9,000. Like, <laughs> I don't know what's really going on there. Um, I don't think it's 
an evolution. There's no way. There's no way her semblance is evolving into that because that's that's too much. That's too OP. That's way too. Uh -uh. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta be kidding me. There's no way. <laughs> I mean, maybe it is, but I think it's just the amount of rage this little queen has in her right now is affecting the ever after. And then her semblance is literally an overactive imagination. So you put that into a fairy tale world, some, some ish is gonna happen, okay? And then it like, was like going into the ground. I love the effect. The effect was amazing. So like, I think it's just her, she's, she, I think she's just warping the ever after and the ever after is just like, oh, hey, we're a fairy tale. So imaginary stuff is like, we're alive here. <laughs> um, yeah, and I think in my reaction, I was wondering if she was going to kill the Jabberwocker or make it work for her. And then I was like, well, we, I forgot that in the trailer, we see it again and Yang is fighting it again. So I'm guessing it's not gone. <laughs> um, a lot of people were freaking out on Twitter about the fact that Neo just attacked this poor, hopeless, helpless, uh, hopeless or helpless? It's helpless, right? <laughs> she attacked this thing while it was pleading no. And I'm like, um, duh, she's a bad guy. She's a villain. It's what she's supposed to do. I don't know. Every villain I've come across in shows, they don't necessarily have a heart. They don't really care if you're bleeding. No. So, I don't know. It was weird. Same with the bumblebee stuff. I don't even really want to talk about the... Damn. Check your brakes, bro. Uh, lots of people are still angry with the bees. You can't please everybody. I don't care. <laughs> uh, don't have time for all that mess. But, okay. I think that's enough discussion. Um, oh, I don't, I'm not ready. I mean, I am. I had my tissue. I got some water. I got my notebook. I got all my comfort stuff. Like, whew, I'm ready to be hurt. Are you? Are you ready to hurt? Because we're going to have to hurt together, okay? If I'm hurting, I need somebody to hurt with me, okay? I don't want to be the only one crying. <laughs> but, um, yeah. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you stick around, okay? It's cozy in this den. I swear. Look, I have Pokemon with cute candles. <laughs> I'm sorry. Anyway, don't forget to like. Okay, comment. Uh, let's see. Let's ask a question. What's your favorite scene so far? Before we get to the halfway point, tell me your favorite scene in the comments. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, don't forget, check the Discord and my Twitch and the Patreon. Do all the stuff, do all the stuffs. And let's get right into this reaction. <sighs> okay. Ruby Volume 9, Episode 4, no title, no description. Come on, Crunchyroll. Let's get it together, okay? I know a lot of people have been complaining that there's still no captions. Which is, I mean, I don't normally use them, but it would definitely help for some of the quieter stuff. Um, I think Crunchyroll's subs are usually what's the word i don't know the word but like i know like on rooster teeth i used to hate the closed captions because i could read it and know what's happening before actually seeing it um i believe crunchyroll is a lot better at keeping things in sync not the boy band <laughs> anyway Oh, okay, let's go. Let's go. Look at that kitty cat. He's looking at him. So he's such a cat. Okay, and reaction start in three, 
two, one, play. Oh, thank God there's the opening to kind of prepare myself. <sighs> I'm scared. Uh-oh. Hello? Okay. Don't know what that was about. Uh-oh. Man. Sad. But like, such a bop. <laughs> oh, are we gonna see the blacksmith soon? That would be awesome. What's your favorite Pokemon? Mine's Lucario. Definition of the word. <laughs> oh, all right, let's go. one do you go by oh i don't go by that belongs to the days and the years but if you are asking me what i am i do suppose i am indeed a cat most curious of course <laughs> uh look my friends and i really need to get to that giant tree and so far nothing we've tried has gotten us any further it looks to me like we're even farther yeah i think that's because we're six inches tall it could be both. The tree. Oh, what? Tree, 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 tree. Of course. That is most definitely impossible. You do most not definitely. The tree. the tree goes to you. Unless, of course, you're me. You see. Not even a little bit. <laughs> well, that's your problem. It's a matter of perspective, I'm afraid. But couldn't you take us then? You've been there before. So why would I ever want to go back? Yes. I'm glad we understand one another. No sense in seeing a sight seen. Please, you helped Alex when she was- Alex? 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 How do you know her? Are you friends of hers? Lifelong nemeses? Wait, don't tell me. Letters. Okay, no tell me. Uh, well, <laughs> we don't know her personally. Just, she wrote a book about her entire adventure in the Ever After. A book? Is it well liked? It's kind of a childhood favorite of everyone's where we're from. Yes. Oh, please. I simply must know more. What did she write about? How was I portrayed? And do I smell a mouse? Uh -oh. Um, from one cat to another. Could you give us a minute, please? Oh, so they're spoken for. Well, please, please hurry. I have so many, many questions. I love him. I love him so much. Are you sure I not want one. Constantly annoying cat. Got him. Totally roasted. Thank you, guys. The curious cat was described as yo. A I love it. With an appetite for information. Just because they don't want to go back to the tree doesn't mean we can't lure them. Back. Yo, the expressions. What in the world? Yeah, we just need to keep their attention along the way. 
Am I the only one that's seeing just how great these expressions are? <gasps> the cat's gone. Didn't you have questions for us? We'd be happy to answer them. <sighs> I sense a butt approaching. No, no, I, I mean, we do still need to go to the tree, but that'll take ages, right? Uh, plenty of time to tell you all the stuff from our world. <laughs> Look, uh, ever seen a scroll before? Ooh. <laughs> Luminous rectangle. <gasps> Luminous rectangle. What does this button do? Oh, my God. Why is it painting tiny, flat versions of me? Is that what I look like, smiling? Hook, so line, and sinker. How exciting. I love it so, so bad. Oh, the boy share a body now? <gasps> Ooh, that's got some uncomfortable implications. Who thought that was a helpful way to reincarnate? The same people who put a city in the sky? Ooh, speaking of Atlas, did that CL girl from the Vital Festival ever come back in a notable way? <laughs> There's just so many characters to keep track of. Wait, what was my original question? Blake, it's your turn. You have asked about the origins of Remnant. That's right. I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead and just mention complex, you right? know who. All in all, a rather entertaining. Would you know we all want to see her again? Some of the character voices were a bit uninspired. Looking at you, wise huntress. Again, it's wise. Just wise. <laughs> Apologies. To your credit, you lot certainly know more about the beginnings of Remnant than Alex did. That girl could barely see past her own nose. Oh, what do you mean? Oh, you know. Just hilariously concerned with trivial things. With herself? Yeah, but she learned her lesson in the end, right? I'd certainly say so. Oh, would you look at that? The edge of the garden's acre. Ooh, are we going in there? Please, it's so pretty. Yes, yes, get the leaf, get the leaf. This entire world is put together like a bunch of mixed up puzzle pieces. How does anyone make sense of this? Each acre is made specifically for its inhabitants and their roles. Is it not like that on Remnants? No. How strange. It never even occurred to me to ask that before. I have a question I'd like to ask. How much longer before we're back to regular size? <laughs> not long at all. The garden is just down this path and is sure to have all the ingredients we need for a lovely Grogurt parfait. Grogurt Just don't parfait. go talking to anyone without me. If you're not careful. We might get our heads cut off. <coughs> that is how we met, isn't it? <laughs> Ooh, you remnant folk are such troublemakers. Well, I'm sure I just we'll cause love a lot this less cat. trouble once we're back to normal. Bah. I don't see what all the fuss is about. Some of my best friends are six inches tall. If I were you, I'd be more worried about... Who was that scary sorceress you mentioned? Uh, Salim? Salem? How many more relics does she need to end the world again? <laughs> How are you even supposed to stop her now that Atlas is gone? Uh-oh. Uh... Hey, Rubes? I... Uh, maybe we shouldn't worry about home right now. We've got enough problems to... The cat! What? <laughs> oh, no, I wasn't paying attention. <sighs> Where did they go now? Oh, they saw a bug. And you didn't say anything? It was a very interesting bug. <sighs> of all the characters from the book, why did it have to be the cat? Why couldn't we have gotten help from... The lively carpenter or the rusted knight. One was sweet, one was handsome, and neither of them had the attention span of a goldfish. You know, I bet you could find a goldfish. You said the rusted goldfish. knight's handsome? Is the the ship hey, that I low key love actually gonna be a thing? Because you know, John is like the rusted knight, right? At least that's what we think. Yes, I am a Weiss and Jean shipper, low key. Not in volumes one through two. Hated it. Is Gross. This the garden. But now I like all oh, the thing with the eyes. It looks like a garden. But where's that humming coming from? I feel like I also have the attention span what of the cat. You? I'm getting really tired of that question. 
What question? Oh. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> oh, that question. Isn't it obvious? I am an herbalist. The herbalist. At least. I like his little, uh, the moon thing. Anymore. It reminds me of Diana oh, good. from League. Well, I love her. All questions answered then. Faith champ um, right there. Sorry to bother, but, uh, my friends and I could use some help. Uh, see, we're trying to get to that giant tree, but... Help getting to the tree? Ah, yes. Everyone needs help these days. Everyone. Where'd the kitty cat go? Yes, go inside the giant mushroom. I would be terrified. The underneath part of the mushroom scares me. Well, don't ask me why, because I don't know. In, <laughs> or aren't you? you can make us a Grogurt parfait, right? <sighs> oh, okay. This is all the sciencey stuff. Okay. Mm, I must say. You all seem a bit uh, hesitant. Oh, I like how the what did you say you Jesus were animated there. Huntresses. They look squishy. And what exactly does a huntress do? Fight monsters, I guess. I'm sorry. I don't understand why this matters. I don't understand how you don't understand. <laughs> I am an herbalist. I make medicines and remedies to help others on their journeys. It is what I am. Oh. So, do you know what a huntress is, or do you guess? Huntresses are heroes. We protect those who can't protect themselves. Thank you. Now, Does this kind of go back to how? Would you say that you're good huntresses? They all got asked by Uble. Look, why they wanted can you to be help huntresses? us or not? I am trying. I feel like it kind of. But you are making this far more I don't know. Maybe I'm reaching. <laughs> but I like that it we kind of went back titles, to that. Our roles to play. But in order to help you become whatever it is you need to become, you should really have a better understanding of what you are now. Okay. How do we open mushroom door? <sighs> <clears throat> this is how a king winds up a prince. Follow me. My work is never done. How a king winds up a prince. Huh. Was the prince actually the king at one point and got turned into a child? Oh yeah, I gotta relax. I feel you there. I feel you there, bro. <laughs> I'm probably gonna have to do that after this episode. Oh, are they about to go on a uh, trip? <laughs> Take a seat. Um... Actually, I think maybe we should be going. Right, Ruby? This won't take long. Um. <laughs> Just answer the questions. Oh, yes. What? what? Oh, you. Oh, I got chills. <laughs> oh, I'm terrified. I have chills. I forget what no. this is. Are you sure you know? I don't want to miss sure speak like a Native and American what? thing. I don't know what it's called, but they smoke it and it, you know, with the fire and it pop to the fire type of deal. It's insane. Like, amazing. Uh oh. What? You don't have to go forward, you know. I love you spiritual stuff. <laughs> I used to make a lot of videos on spiritual what? stuff. What are you talking about? It's simple, really. You could just be human. Or just a cat, if you wanted. Oh? Really, it's up to you. Why would I do that? Like I said, it's simple. I love how they sound Much different. Than trying to be a bridge between like you can tell they've grown. Honest. Why struggle with that responsibility? The Shmi name. Why bother anymore? What does it even stand for now? Instead, you could be a nobody. Could you imagine? Not a single bit of baggage upon your shoulders. Isn't that what you want? To be free? To be something simpler? To be whole again? 
No. My losses, my failures, those more than anything are what have shaped me into who I am. Showed me how I need to grow. If there's something I'm missing, it's not because I've lost it. It's because I haven't found it yet. And the only way to do that is to keep going. A simple life wouldn't be my life. My family, my friends, my culture. I belong to them just as much as they belong to me. To give that all away wouldn't be simplicity. It would be betrayal. I don't know who you think you are, but let me tell you who I am. I am the granddaughter of a hero and the child yes. of a villain. I am a citizen of a fallen kingdom and an heir to nothing. I will not be defined by my name because I will be the one to define it. I am Waishni. And I am a huntress. I am a huntress. I am a huntress. Oh, but Ruby doesn't know. So, are you a huntress? Oh. Like the ones you read about in books? Poor Ruby. I don't know. They always saved the day, didn't they? Always knew what to do. Always won in the end. But life isn't like a fairy tale. That's oh, right. damn. It's That's what Blake said. To make things better, <laughs> isn't it? Everything I love our hair. Just flowing. Your sister needs you. Your friends need you. The whole world needs you to keep fighting forever and ever against an invincible monster that took your mother. Damn. Mom was the best, but even she failed. That doesn't seem fair. None of this seems fair. What am I supposed to do? You can do whatever you want. Be whoever you want. You don't even have to be Ruby Rose. No, don't do it. Don't do it, baby. Don't do it. So, what are you going to be? Get away from her! <laughs> oh. Oh my. Oh. That's a bit much. Oh. Herb, look at yourself. You're done. You're supposed to be helping others find their way. But you've lost Oh, is he going to do what he did to the Please, prince? And take a little bit of my heart. You'll feel much better. Uh, I do apologize. I... Always was a bit of a workaholic. Does huntresses was it? What is that cat, bro? Peculiar thing. He like fixes everybody's heart. <laughs> Little? <laughs> Are you kidding? That was way too short. Way too short. And still no Jean. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna wear a bunch of yellow next week and hope that that manifests Jean, okay? Oh. That was a great episode, by the way. Loved it. I love the concept art. It's always so nice. I like you. You had me on the, the edge there for a little bit, though. I was like, yo, whoa, whoa, hey, hey. Oh, we're just not an eyelid. I like that. Um. I feel like that was just so many emotions there at the end. <laughs> like, okay. Damn. That was a good hurt. That was a good hurt. Oh, it was so good. But um, okay. Let's uh let's chit let's chat. Let's let's do a little chit chat. Um obviously next episode I will talk more about this one, but oh I'm honestly kind of at a loss for words. Like, that was a lot. 
but it was so good. And I still feel like it ties back into, I forget what episode exactly it is, but it's like volume two. I don't know what episode. Somewhere in the middle, right? Or was it towards the end? It's when they go to... Where did they go? With Ublek. Oh my god, brain fart. Holy crap, I just forgot everything. Mountain Glen, right? I can't remember. <laughs> but yeah, when he asks all the girls like why they want to be huntresses. And back then, they had answers that I feel like are, they're still kind of the same, but at least Weiss's felt like it was still kind of the same where she, her family name, but now it's, it's her name, you know? And she's gonna define what it is to be Weiss Schnee, to be the Huntress Weiss Schnee. And then Yang, I loved that. She acknowledged her failures and like, that was, that was great. <laughs> I don't, uh, and how, like what she's, if she's missing something, it isn't because she lost it. It's because she hasn't found it yet. I'm gonna cry again. <laughs> I don't know, that one hit, man. That one hit home. That was, that was good. And then Blake, I love her, I love her again. I don't know, for a while Blake wasn't my, like, she's honestly one of my least favorites, but this volume is doing a lot for her. It's making me like her a lot. <laughs> um, I kind of feel like Blake's little monologue would really hit home for a lot of um, like, I don't know, for a lot of people, just the whole, like her culture and who she is and like how she's like, no way would I like give that up, like it's a part of me. Cause I feel like a lot of people deal with that, especially like people of color, um, be it black, Asian, Hispanic, I feel like culture is a big thing for a lot of us. So I think I I think hers her speech will definitely hit home for people. But Yang's that hers got me the the most cuz it just it yeah. Yeah. Damn. Oh, I got And then poor Ruby. She has no idea what to do. She does not know what to do. The poor baby girl. <sighs> oh, and then the whole life isn't a fairy tale. I, I am, yo, I am loving all the, sorry, Lucario, where are you going? Please don't leave me. <laughs> I'm loving all the like callbacks to the previous volumes. Like what? It's so good. It's like really putting into perspective how basically all the volumes leading up to this one were all just the, a vacuum. Like, we know where we want to be. Here's how we're going to get there. So it's it's nice to see all the little back and forths. Um, okay, yeah. This was a great episode. Holy crap. This might be my new favorite. Last episode was my favorite. <laughs> now it's this one. Like, oh God. The cat. The cat. I didn't write it down, but I don't think I even mentioned it either when I was talking about the last episode. Did he say that he would give the caterpillar guy a part of his heart I'll have to go back when I'm editing to make sure but he's basically putting a piece of himself into everybody's heart to like I don't know if it's to like calms them down or like brings them back to 
their original purpose type of deal since having a purpose in this world is very important um yeah this cat this cat what's he up to what's he doing he kind of gives me um i don't want to say npc like an npc vibe but he's like the one making sure everything goes according to the way it's supposed to go. He keeps things in check. And if he needs to, he'll go and reset people. He's like the mastermind behind the simulation. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Oh boy. Well, yeah, that was my reaction to episode four of Ruby volume nine. If you liked it, please consider subscribing if you haven't already. Don't forget to like the video. Comment down below. Tell me your favorite scene so far before we get to the halfway point. Uh, thank you guys again for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Sorry I'm not like super, ooh, yay, happy, happy, like I have been in my other episodes. This one just, it hit home. It hit home hard. I, I can't get over Yang's speech. Like, holy crap. That's gonna... Yeah, that's gonna stick with me for a minute. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being here. <laughs> I'm gonna go now. You guys have an awesome day, night, whatever time it is when you see this. And I'll see you in the next video.